older than you are. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, that, that's what I meant by it. sex. Okay. My, my, no, no, my no, university is. Score points. Or... Sorry. No, no, no. no. no in the sense that we, we, like, every time I change a career or every time I. I've um, kind of done it that often. No, nah, I jump. I, I, I hop jobs a lot. Okay. okay so right now, um, you're no longer believe in the church. You no longer believe in Christianity. Do no, you that's not what I said. Because you said you've lost um, faith in God. Of, any kind of theistic belief. So, I just don't see the place for God in um, in any kind of society. I think it's a human construction. And um, having been fairly senior in the Church of England, I, I saw myself as becoming a, an instrument of that human construction. No, you could say, all right, the, the institution is therefore sinful and faulty and all the rest of it. Um, but I think that's true of any, any religion. Do you... Okay, where did the universe come from? Because I started the conversation by asking you... Yeah. Something come from nothing. Do you believe something can come from nothing? Yeah. I don't know. But I'm quite happy not to know. I don't think you're being honest, sir. Don't you? Yeah. Do you, well, live your, do you live your life thinking any, something can come from nothing? Um, do, 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 you, do you ever, do you look it up like they might just... Yeah, but, but it, the answer I come up with is not God. No, 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 I'm, I'm, we're, we're taking a step-by-step really, process. I really vividly as a kid, looking out of my bedroom window and seeing the stars twinkling, thinking, gosh, what's out there, you know, open-eyed, and all the rest of it. I don't respond to it in that way now. I think it's much more likely to have a scientific explanation than any other thing. I'm giving you a scientific explanation, and you're, you're disagreeing with me. You're saying it's possible something comes from nothing. Science doesn't back you up on that. Uh, well, it doesn't deny it either. It just doesn't have all the answers yet. No, no, but the scientific position held at the moment isn't something can come from nothing. Is it a single scientific position held? The, um, the, law, the law of... Um, Science is limited by what it can test, by time, by matter, by, by space and time, sorry, by things it can do experiments on, mm -hmm. repeat experiments on, so on and so forth. So we have to understand its limitations. Mm -hmm. And at the moment... That's what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. No, but you're, 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 saying, you're, 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 you're saying that science will have the answers, but science doesn't give you absolute truths. Well, we don't know that, do we? It's not capable. Science no, we admits. Don't know that. Well, I mean, presumably, you, you think that gravity is an absolute truth. Would I? <laughs> well, I think you have to, because otherwise you'd be floating off somewhere, wouldn't you? So, uh, I, the feel like, well, I feel like from the tree I feel on like Isaac Newton's head. I you think, know, I think we're, dilute, we're diluting the conversation. So we're going back to I can something. Ah, can I, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, I'm leading you further into your misery. You're leading me further off topic. Very skillfully, may I add. Can, I, can I just say, I admire you massively for standing here. Thank you. Um, and it doesn't matter to me whether you're a Hindu or a Muslim or a, mm. or a Christian or whatever. Mm. I imagine anybody who's... I, I'm inspired by people who are prepared to stand up for what they believe, and that's what you're doing. So, thank you for having a go. Mm. Um, I'm not going to take a copy of the Quran because mm. I think you're better off giving it to somebody else. I believe, I would say, Take it, read it at your own leisure. You will benefit from it. I think. Um, I've read a good, good bits of it. Yeah, when you were a different read. person, are you are you the same person that you was in uh, at university? Not. There you go. So I think mm. now you will take a different meaning from it. Your world view has, I would assume, has changed substantially since then. I can imagine you was quite religious at that point. So now, when you read it, I believe that it will, um, you will believe that it is divinely inspired. What would you need from this book to believe it's divinely inspired? Um, more than it's capable of doing. How do you know? Tell me what I've you read, need. I've read most no, 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 no. Tell me what you need, and I can see. I, I don't need anything. No. I'm going to see my life through. I'll die, and I'll be buried, and that's that. As far as I'm concerned. Um, uh, I was a pretty strong advocate of an alternative view for a long time. So, What's the alternative view? Well, Christian view of life and death. So, <laughs> so sorry, what, what is your alternative view? Well, for me, it was a Christian view. Hmm, what is it currently? Um, that I die, and that's the end of it. Okay. 
So you see, you're... I think the desire on the part of human beings to understand what happens after death is a very human one. It's, 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 it's a very uh, understandable thing. I agree. Not satisfied I agree. By any of the answers. What was Islam's answer? Uh, well, I couldn't sum it up in a way that you would. Um, you would find. Try your best. No, I'm not even going to try it because I think that would be insulting. I, 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 I don't. I don't believe. And I could be wrong that, that you've seen the argument Islam makes. Um, I probably haven't, but I'm. I'm and I believe I'm, once you're introduced to it, if you wasn't being so evasive, skillfully. I'm not being evasive, actually. I've been quite open. No, no, no. Evasive to answering um, the key points because at the end of the day, well, I don't want to understand it. Yeah. It's obviously very important to you, and I admire that. Mm -hmm. um, no, you can't, you can't offend me. It's not something that I want for myself. And again, we're not. I wasn't even. We haven't even got to religion. Does it make sense? No, I'm trying to do the foundational thing. Like, look, um, let's agree where the universe comes from. Let's agree if something can come from nothing. My, my claim would be it's more logical and rational to believe in a creator than to. Well, I disagree with you. Then give me the alternative because the, your Ava, the, the Quran makes the argument. The, the alternative is, is all there in the, in the Big Bang. Okay, what but caused it, the Big Bang? Simply, well, that's a good question. I don't know. And I'm saying that. But I think that our science unra unravels this universe that we live in. But that's not. become clearer about what that is. But currently, with the knowledge you have, you're saying um, you believe that a compelling argument is the universe was created by the Big Bang. And I would argue that. Science leads you to. Sorry, I don't mean to okay. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I don't smoke, but I'm willing to take the oh, take the smoke to continue this conversation. Eh? Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm committed. Yeah. I'm committed. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, so the Big Bang, like I've spoken to professors of quantum mechanics, they can tell you the very moment the Big Bang happened. Right? They can't tell you why. They can't tell you why, they can't tell you... Prime mover and all that kind of stuff. Does it make sense? Yeah, I get that. But I don't think that that's a sat it doesn't satisfy me as an answer. No, that's my point. So I'm saying I have the answer, which is no, it, was caused, it was caused by... For me, you don't. Yeah, 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 you haven't heard it yet, sir. Well, I, no, I haven't if you, if you permit me to finish, okay. that is something... No, it's fine. Are we being recorded, by the way? We are, yes. Right. Yeah. That's interesting. In case um, I'm rude to you. No, 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 because we... Have absolutely no intention of being rude to you. No, 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 no not, not at all. I'll be honest with you. We have the intention of um, educating the public yeah. by uploading these on YouTube. Okay. okay. Um, so there's a channel called... Can you tell me if you upload it? We'll, we'll give you the details. If you want, um, okay. yeah. So, yeah. We can, we can discuss how you want, like, like the details and so on and so forth if you want on and there. And it'd be a really good okay. one to the upload, you know, a bit of a doubter. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> people, people would enjoy it, enjoy it. Um, um, but yeah, um, well, I'll let you finish. I promise I won't interrupt. No, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Do you remember what I was trying to say? Um, oh yeah, so my answer would be what caused the Big Bang is something that has intelligence outside of the universe and independent. There's more names and attributes. That's really tough. I'm sorry, I promise I won't interrupt. <laughs> so now, um, I don't think um, if you thought about it, that you would disagree with the fact that you need something independent outside the universe um, with intelligence, with will, to cr put into motion to create the universe because you can't have a um, dependent things creating like other dependent things that create other dependent things then what created that dependent thing? I'm saying Allah is independent, uncreated there's a four-line definition of Allah given in the Qur'an but I uh, can imagine we're short of time. So I believe that's a more... Huh? I hope I'm not giving the impression I want to get away. Slightly. <laughs> no, 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 I appreciate it. Um, so what's the alternative? Something like what caused the Big Bang? So that's why I said it's more logical and rational to believe in a creator than not to believe in a creator. I didn't say it's the only answer, it's you have to believe in it. I'm saying that with the current alternatives we have, it is the most logical and rational because from nothing comes nothing. The universe didn't create itself because that's the absurdity. That means 
the universe didn't. The conservation of matter clearly. Pardon? The, the conservation of matter clearly doesn't allow for that to have happened. So it must have come from somewhere. I just don't think it came from an independent, sentient being, which is, I think, what you said. Why not? Where did it come from then? Um, I don't know. Do, 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 do you disagree know, that what, what created the universe has to be outside of the universe? Do you disagree with that? Let's take it step by step, um, break it down. Because it can't no, be... because of the conservation of matter. There you go. So you agree with that part? No, no. no. I said so, I don't agree with that. Oh, so based on because what, sorry? Of, matter has to come from somewhere. That, that's my point. Yeah. yeah. And, it, and it's logical that it comes from itself to me. How? how, how? I don't know. So my I'm point not is... I'm a scientist. But then you're basing I think, I can your talk understanding... I've about it quite a lot, but you know, I'm, not a, I'm not a scientist, so you can't give me an answer. So you're someone who would refer to science, who believes in science, but your response isn't based on science. No, I don't believe in science. I believe you believe that you can get answers, that the answer yeah. is in science, but you haven't referenced any scientific articles, any scientists, any scientific positions. That's fairly well read. None of them back up and say that, look, this is a position held by so on and so forth. Well, I mean, it's a position fairly widely held. That matter created itself? Yeah. No, no, it didn't create itself, but it pre-existed. But the, there was a pre-existence of matter prior to the Big Bang. We just haven't worked out what it is yet. Based on what? See, well, see this yeah, is just pure is. conjecture. This is conjecture because... Yeah, but so is yours. The nature my, my, of belief is conjecture. No, no, it's a, it's a logical conclusion. One. It's a logical it's conclusion. It's not logical at all. It is, it is. Because right now, you're making a point that before the Big Bang there was matter. You have no evidence to this effect. Well, I don't. But that's, but yet, but but yet, but that's the faith. Yeah. That's the faith you have. You have a faith in the fact that there was matter before the Big Bang. Not the same kind of faith that might lead it's to absurd, the sir. I would say your faith is more absurd than what I'm saying because at the end of the day, I'm going to make Call a claim. Absurd. I'm saying I'm that giving, you, I'm giving you the privilege of my time, and you're calling me absurd. <laughs> Vice versa. I think, I think you could, you know, you could say, you know, I don't agree with you, but I do see where you're coming from. No, no the reason is absurd because um, I have a great alliance of arguments because I haven't even gone into the Quran being perfectly preserved. I haven't gone into the fact that, and this is all objectively true. Yeah. 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 And the Quran has been. I, I find that quite curious, really. When so you that's get chance. What you're trying to say, talk about. So no, 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 no. Please, please do, because it's like. Now, well, you see, I would say that every written document is subject to interpretation by the person who's reading it. Preservation, and, and clear in Islam preservation as well, through the different branches of Islam. Preservation and interpretation are two very separate things. So I'm sure you're aware that in Birmingham we have the Birmingham manuscript, which um, is the Quran, carbon dated by non-Muslim academics to the lifetime of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. So that's preservation right there. That's my second resource. We have Christians don't have. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate that. We have over 200 million individuals who've memorized the Quran word for word, letter for letter, dot for dot in a language. Um, th th in th Arabic, which is the language the Quran was revealed in. So yeah, I think reading a text in a foreign language, which is effectively what you're talking about, mm -hmm. and I don't know what your first language is, sounds like it's, it's not English. a very, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but um, so you, you're reading that through a second language. Yes, yes, indeed. Now, you know, you, the only way you might be able to access Voltaire, for example, is, is um, by reading it in English. Mm. Um, but you'll get a much clearer understanding of what it's all about if it was your first language and you were reading it in French. Indeed, indeed, indeed. But the fact of the matter is, going back to interpretation now... Um, <coughs> in, in fact, I don't know if I'm correct, you yeah. wouldn't actually view that as the Quran. Correct, correct, yes. And I'll get into that point. So this, when I... Hopefully by the end of this conversation, when you're motivated to take this Quran, you're not taking the Quran, you're actually taking the nearest translation by that individual. Yeah. Yeah? The Quran, we've preserved it in the Arabic language. Yeah. So the nuance of the richness of the Arabic language, you're going to miss it. Now, going back to the point in regards to interpretation. You're so expert in Arabic in order to be able to read it in Arabic. That's no, no, not particularly. There's a lot of people... Um, because what happens is, like, look, you can read it and get the meaning of the text, right? And, which will be a good basic understanding. But interpretation would be, okay, how was this Qur'an meant to be understood? And that meaning was given by the Prophet Muhammad, who is the final messenger of God. And that, that understanding has been preserved. 
So we have a heritage of, okay, how did he understand it? How did he explain it to the companions? How did the companions understand it? How did the three generations thereafter understand it? Because it's not like the Bible, Why it's like... Three? Um, because then the meaning, it gets diluted. Does that make sense? Really, in fact, let me, let me retract that. It's because God said so. It's because um, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said that the understand... Peace be upon him, because I was missing that. Yeah. yeah. Failure on my part. Um, no, no, not failure. Just, yeah. no, no, I agree. No, I don't know. This is, this, is the this is the traditions and this is the it's admiration and the respect we show. Yeah. yeah. Um, and peace be upon all the messengers of God, Jesus, Moses, Abraham. So he himself, because um, he was inspired by God, said that, look, um, the religion will be preserved by um, himself, um, the companions, the tabi'in, the tab tabi'in, and the generation after that, and then thereafter. So then that's, that's again, that's where we get the religion from. It's from the understanding of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and the divine revelation that was given to him. So it's not like a man interpreted it, it's a man chosen by God. And again, with more time, we could give you examples of how he lived and there's elements of his life which is like purely, it's, it's divine. That makes sense, like no man would behave like this. He was given wealth, he was given women, but there was signs and actions of a prophet within him where he wouldn't be tempted by the worldly things. Like he was known to be a very honest man. And that's, so then these are characteristics of prophets. Exactly. Characteristics that could be used to describe Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Again, another messenger of God. So I don't, I don't negate that Jesus was a messenger and pious man, but I'm saying that, look, um, the Prophet Muhammad gave a complete way of life. How do you lead an army? How do you raise children? How do you treat your spouse? How do you treat, interact with your mother? Um, how do you cut your nails? How do you wash yourself when you defecate? And these are all elements that have been divinely inspired. Now, I was having this conversation with another individual, it's like, it's not, there's elements which we have to do. And there's elements where it's recommended and it's more beneficial. I'm saying there's nothing in the Quran which is forbidden, which is good for you. And there's nothing in Islam which is recommended to you, which is bad for you. Yeah? Okay. Now, um, again, we could have a greater conversation on this, but I want to bring the conversation back to theology. And this book has prophecies come through. Uh, talks about history, science, and different matters, gets it all right. Yeah? Um, the linguistic miracles, um, there's not a single contradiction in this book. There's no mistakes in it. Because this is the only religious scripture that says it's from God, from Allah. Allah will preserve it. Hence, I've given evidence of the preservation. And another evidence the Quran uses is like, there's no crookedness, there's no mistakes in it, there's no error in it. So, this is a bold statement. I'm standing here, I'm going to give you a free translation so, of the Quran. So John says pretty much the same kind of thing in the prologue to his gospel. But just because you make a claim, it doesn't make the claim true. So I'm giving you the opportunity. No, I'm, I'm not trying to defend Christianity or even mm. to attack Islam. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just making an observation. No, no, no and, you're right, and you're right. That, and you're right. You know, the Bible makes exactly the same claims. But is that verifiable? Is that objectively true? Well, do you think the Bible? Millions of people across the world don't think that it is. I don't myself. I never no, no, did, no, no, but, but, then, um, but that's not that's not the criteria we use for if something is correct. Oh, there's a lot of people that think it's correct. No, I'm saying that. Look, we we have the law of logic, of non-contradiction. So I'm saying the Quran doesn't have contradictions in it. It has no mistakes in it. So I don't think St. John's Gospel does either. Do you really believe yeah. that? Yeah, well, I mean, I, I don't, I'm not aware of any contradictions. Yeah. What does it talk about? It talks about the life of Jesus. Okay. Um, so again, in a this far more kind of theological way than some of the other gospels, which tend to be more narrative. But that, that's my point. So now you're talking about a text which doesn't leave room. It doesn't. It doesn't talk about things outside of its era. If I describe my experience of you, I would say six foot, 
bushy, bushy beard, dark hair. If I was standing behind you, I wouldn't know you had a beard. So I'd tell a different story. Oh, sorry, see, this is it. So the that's the reason the gospel writers tell different stories, because they're standing from different perspectives. But this is the thing, like... The I, I'm really not going to say Kibbutz. No, no, not sorry, because I don't want, Not because I'm close to what it might contain, mm. but because it's better with somebody else. So just to touch on the final point you made, hopefully not the final point, but the, more, the latter point you made, which is the Qur'an is an, um, a bi biography of the Prophet Muhammad. It's a, it's a textbook on how to live. So it talks about science, it talks about things where it's like, look, it talks about facts. Um, it's going through concepts where it's like saying, um, so it, it's, not, it's not just a descriptive book. So gospel writers don't choose the stories from the life of Jesus just at random. They do them because they want to make particular points about the way in which Christians should live. Now that, you know, amounts to the same thing as what you're saying. No, not particularly, and I'll be honest with you, um, it really you puts into question. Yeah. Okay. I mean, there wasn't a test. No, 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 I have. I have. It was a test, actually. It was me being nasty, but because I didn't think you would have done, but... No, 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 I, I, like, I like theology and I think like I can't be standing here talking about theology yeah, yeah, sure. if I haven't yeah. read the scripture That's and I'm quite... No idea the difficult people you're going to meet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Most people, unfortunately, they're quite ignorant of Texas, mm. regardless of what text it is. Does that make sense? And it's unfortunate. Do you get much insult? No, 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 no. Very, very rarely. Um, yeah. Not even insult. I've never, I can't recall getting insult. Yeah, there's people some. Just wouldn't stop if they. No, no, you've you got people who are very passionate about what they believe yeah. and they'd be quite derogatory, be aggressive, uh, be rude. But like, yeah, they'll, they'll conflate stuff, be. In, yeah, not, not much. I would say a very small percentage. Yeah. Well, what's your takeaway from this conversation, sir? What's your name, by the way? Mark. 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 Uh, Ridwan. But what's your takeaway from this conversation? Because I feel like there's a lot of topics we've opened, but yeah. we haven't really been able to kind of unpack. Um, kind of like my luggage when I come back from abroad. Okay, I, I've spent um, a lot of time in the last eight years since I left the church. Um, I, was, uh, I was one of the top 40 clergy in the church England. So, uh, quite, you know, quite. What, what was it that made you leave your theology? Um, it started, I mean, my reflection started because um, I came out as gay mm. and um, my colleagues in particular treated me like a piece of dirt, basically. Um, and um, uh, so that led me to, to reflect on what their motivation was. It's clear to me what their motivation was. They wanted me particularly wanted my job. Um, and uh, I, that led me to question what faith is about, basically, what my faith meant to me. Was I but why, to why would you completely leave um, theism? I could stay. What, 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 no, no, what made you leave theism? Because that's because I see no need for it. But there's there's many questions where it's like, like you just I, refuse to answer. To... You don't really you don't have an answer for it. So well, but, the need is there, was, but you're just um, not asking that question. You're not asking the right questions, perhaps. Well, maybe, maybe. I mean, I appreciate that. Um, but what I said earlier on was um, I, I reached the point where theism was no longer a satisfactory answer to the questions that I was asking. But you don't have a satisfactory answer? No, well I do. For me it's satisfying to say oh, so, so, there so. are things about this world that we don't understand. We may do one day, but right now we don't. I'm happy to accept that. No, no, you have sa answers that satisfy you, but you don't have answers. Your answer is, I don't know, and you're okay with that. I'm very happy with that. But it's not really I'm an answer. <laughs> Anybody who says they believe is saying exactly the same thing. But I've, I've, given, you, I've given you, I've given you my logical premises because you know. No, I, don't, I don't think that gives you certainty. Certainty is that you're standing in front of me. I can touch you. I can prod you. I can wind you up. Um, but I'm so sorry to interrupt you. Where did you get this? Um, like any Islamic shops, there's, there's yeah, ones. Shops. Yeah, 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 definitely. Especially around here. Oh, is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Try commercial road, you find one. Huh? Try commercial road, you find one. Yeah. Um, I think that may be my phone. Actually. Might be, yeah. 
Ah, yeah. Um, I'll call him back in a moment. Um, um, see, I think that the nature of belief is precisely the same thing as mm. what I'm engaged in. Because I believe... Please elaborate. I believe. I don't know. I don't know for certain. I don't know that there isn't a God for certain. It just doesn't seem to be very. Oh, sorry. Before the lady interrupted, yeah. not interrupted, but um, certainty. She was after you as a fashion accessory. Yeah. <laughs> um, right now, how do you know this isn't a dream? Because haven't you had dreams? So you don't have certainty. You don't have certainty. No, I, I, I have certainty. I know that unless I die, I'll wake up tomorrow morning. That's about it, really. But you wouldn't even have certainty if you died. Because you don't have the foundation. Right now, my certainty... You don't know you're not going to die tonight. No, no, no. I said when you die, you don't even know if you're dead. You don't have certainty. I'll be dead. But, the, but that's the point. You're speaking I, from I somebody who doesn't much. have certainty. My life, no, 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 my life have... will be over. You know, I, I've had a good life. I'm still having a good life. But I don't need to know what's coming next. Because I don't actually think there is anything. But I may be wrong. And I tell you what, I'll see you in heaven. If, if I'm wrong. But I don't think you're going to enter heaven. Because you don't meet the criteria. Sorry that you don't think I'm going to be... You wouldn't think I was um, going to go to heaven if I was the Archbishop of Canterbury, would you? Yeah, I wouldn't, no. No, so... Because well, neither does he meet the... Then. No, neither does he meet the criteria. But I'm saying that I have a criteria. Yeah. For... Uh, well, I hope you're right, because otherwise you will have invested a great deal in your criteria. And if you're not right, well, it'll be a complete waste of time. But I have more reasons to like believe... To say, I'll see you in heaven. Yeah. <laughs> I like to... I have more um, reasons to believe I'm right than you do to believe you're right. My reasons are more objectively true and verifiable. No, they're not actually. I mean... Deconstruct one of my points, please. Well, Any point of your well, choice. I mean, you know, to say that that is objectively verifiable is, is just not true, because I could say it's just like any book that I draw from the, the um, no, no. cells in the library. And that's what I would say, actually. No, no, but that's not that's my claim. Not. No, no, no. My claim is, it's objectively verifiable it's been preserved. It's objectively verifiable that there's no contradictions in it. There's no mistakes in it. Um, when it no talks mistakes. about... What does that mean? It means... Um, no mistakes that you're aware of is all you can say. There's no mistakes currently. No, no mistakes that, that anybody who's drawn anybody's attention to. But that doesn't mean that there's no mistakes. They have tried and they have failed. I can show you... There you go. So at the moment... If they tried reading it from right to left, maybe they'd do better. <laughs> Sorry, that was mean. <laughs> that's right, that's right. You see my point? That, that actually... I admire your faith in the book. I admire your faith in, in what Islam stands for. No, you don't. I you do, don't. actually. You don't. Do. Why? Why would you? Cause because it's, it it's a complete you, waste of time. No, 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 no. If it works for you, that's mm. good enough for me. But it shouldn't work for me, though, should it? Well, only if it's right. Works. I mean, you know, I don't know whether it's right or not. I mounted a massive argument against our religion teacher at school. Yeah, which was? Uh, a very old-fashioned um, kind of Church of England priest. Mm. I used to say, um, uh, see that light bulb? Yep. Do you believe that that light bulb was the founding source of the whole of creation? Mm. And I admire you for your belief. I think you're probably wrong, mm. but it could be true, and I'm not the one to tell you it isn't. Now, that's a completely absurd argument. And in some ways, it devalues any kind of faith. But my point's quite important, because I don't think it matters what you believe in, as long as it works for you. I would say it's unfair to conflate the strong argument I was making to a flimsy, oh, just because someone believes something and they argue it, but unless I was to become a fully signed up uh, uh, Muslim uh, in all aspects, uh, I, I do not have any right to criticise you for your faith. No, you do. You have the right to do that. You have the capacity. I would say you don't know enough about it. Hence, look into it. If I've made a claim that's falsifiable, then falsify it. Does that make sense? But you don't need to, nor do you I want to. I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't, that, that's no fine. I, to do that at all. I, I, I appreciate that. However, 
um, your belief is coming from a world view of that works for me and that's my that's subjective how do you how do you mean it works for you it's something you believe to be correct what i just said to you if it works for you i admire you but i don't have any need for it you don't that's my point and and it makes this conversation a bit redundant because you you don't need a truth right from the outset Um, I'm afraid I must go and answer that call. No, 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 of course. Sorry to walk away. Mark, no, 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 no. Thank you so much. Absolutely pleasure. It may sound horrible, but I do admire you for your commitment. um, What's your final words? I'm going to let you speak straight into the camera, Mark. Um, You can can say something hedonistic, you can say say something. I just want to say that I admire this man for his commitment to his faith and for standing out here on a cold evening. uh, trying to share what his faith means to him, and I really do. It's not for me, and I tried to warn you off a conversation with me at the beginning, but I, I still admire. Okay, but based upon that. Sorry, I'm going to ask you one last question, okay. if you permit me. Yeah. Okay. Are you a good person? I believe I am. Okay. You do realize that. That statement is very subjective. Yeah, absolutely. That's why I said I have, believe I am. I don't you, say I am. So you I could you, like you could be wrong. Yeah. Mark, absolutely. By, by the standards of modern age, I think I'm probably a good person. But you have no only, yardstick to actually prove that to be correct. Well, I do. It's called the law of the land. The reason why you see my chart. Is the law of the land qualified to you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 But then, if you went to another land. I'd have to learn the laws, because otherwise I'd find myself in trouble. Mm-hmm. I mean, being gay is, is obviously quite an issue in some places. Uh, if I went to live in Uganda, I couldn't expect to lead a peaceful life. You know you could be gay, see it as a sin and still be a Muslim? I don't see being gay as a sin in any, other, any way at all. That's, that's the way I was, was who I am, where I was born. But do you not see the implications if the entire world became gay? Well, it's not going to happen, is it? But then... Statistically? About 10%. Since, since um, the days of Muhammad. No, no, but would it work, though, if everyone became gay? Because it's not going to happen. Yeah. About uh, 10% of the population gay. It's not going to end up, end up with everyone. But then if it works and it's right, then why doesn't everyone become gay? Because it's not sustainable. It doesn't work. I think you probably have to be gay to understand yeah. that it's as natural to me to be gay as it is to you to be straight. To be heterosexual, yeah. Uh, and I've tried it both ways. I was married yeah. to all women. Was he unhappy? No. Was she unhappy? I'd say we were both unfulfilled. Uh, uh. Um, I would say, Salaam Alaikum. How did you okay? I'm, I'm, going to, I'm going to leave my phone's ringing again. No, no, no. Thank Thanks so much, Mark. Bye-bye. Have a lovely day. Take care. Yes, I do, my bro. How are you? I'm all right. I'm all right. Yeah? How's How things? Alhamdulillah. Good, man. So, let me just give my final thoughts on the camera. Um, <laughs> that was an interesting conversation. Um, it didn't go anywhere. Um, hopefully, later on on reflection, he will see that yeah, it just really didn't go anywhere because he's refusing to commit to an answer, he's refusing, he's happy with not knowing. Um, so, yeah, and I think what ends up happening is you have a world view or you just want to follow your desires. If I had more time, I'd like to have really unpacked the conversation in regards to um, why, how we choose. My mind's gone blank. Salaam alaikum. 